Hello friends, today I'm going to see about how Britain planned to make an aircraft carrier out of ice. Pike, a renowned innovator, proposed to manufacture an aircraft carrier out of ice for Britain. Was he successful? Lord Louis Mountbatten, the chief of the combined operations, ran into Prime Minister Winston Churchill's apartment. He carried a baggage and went straight into Churchill's hot bathtub and put the material into it. The substance looked like ice but didn't melt and it floated. Church was impressed by the element. He gave the nod to continue the research on the material. The material was picrate and the man who proposed it was Geoffrey Nathaniel Pike. At the peak of World War II, British scientists came up with innovative ideas to counter the German war effort. Britain welcomed any thought as she was desperate to put an end to the Nazi regime. Geoffrey Pike was born in a Jewish family and went to Wellington Public School. Pike studied law in Pembroke College in Cambridge. The adventurous Pike took up a fake passport and went to Britain at the advent of World War I. German police caught him and placed him in a prisoner's camp. Pike conspired with fellow prisoner Falk and escaped from the prison to the Netherlands and then to Britain. Pike was probably the first British man to flee Germany in World War I. Pike wanted to help the Spanish civilians in the Spanish Civil War and form voluntary industrial aid for Spain. The organization manufactured mobile transmission units and vehicles for medical emergencies. Pike modified motorbikes to have sidecars for medical supplies. Germany pushed the world into another war as Nazi party took over complete control over Germany. As a man of adventure, Pike sent a group of English students disguised as golfers to Germany. He aimed to survey the German public to know if they supported the war. If the survey came out positive, Pike thought that he could convince Hitler to stop another war. Unfortunately, the German police found the plot and the students escaped to Britain. Operation Plough Pike considered the case of mobilization in snow regions like Norway during the war. Pike came up with the proposal of a screw-propelled automotive like a screw. The vehicle will blow the snow as the screw pushed the snow back and the passengers moved forward. Initially, Pike plan faced rejection, but Lord Mountbatten, the chief of combined operation, accepted it and even got approval from Winston Churchill. Pike went to US to develop M29 vessels as part of Operation Plow. M29 vessels saw action in all theaters of World War II, from Italy to Japan. Proposition Project Habakkuk. Pike envisioned the idea of usage of ice in war. The vision led him to the infamous project Habakkuk. Pike came across a material called picrate, a mix of wood pulp and ice that can fold. Due to shortage of aluminium and steel in World War II, it became a challenge to manufacture aircraft carriers. Pike proposed to Lord Mountbatten, a naval officer, an idea to construct an aircraft carrier entirely out of picket material. The idea was already experimented by a German scientist, but on a small scale. Pike proposed to manufacture a picket based aircraft carrier stationed in the Atlantic. The armor of the ship would be the strongest in the world, and the vessel can aid aircrafts to attack France. The aircraft carrier can hunt down U-boats and set up as an artificial island in the Atlantic. Pike sought the help of Max Prubitz to find the conditions to make a perfect picket. Prusist worked in the Smithfield Meat Market in London City. He found the ideal mix is 15% of wood bulb and 85% water, cooled to minus 16 degree Celsius or 3 Fahrenheit. In Jasper National Park in the Canadian province of Alberta, construction started on a large scale model. To prove the effectiveness of pikrate, Lord Mountbatten shot a block of solid ice and a block of pikrate. The ice block shattered. But the bullet that hit Pikrate bounced back off and hit a wall. The Royal British Navy ordered an aircraft carrier based on Pikrate. US intervention in the project kicked out Pike due to the descent uh, in the development of the US Army when he worked for Operation Plough. Project, ha project Habakuk got shelved as the ship's insulation refrigerant was two times expensive than constructing an aircraft from out of steel. Pike looked for new problems to solve. Pike proposed ice flares which can freeze in new portions opposite to a flamethrower. As there were no harbors in Normandy, 
I came up with a plan for the LED invention of Normandy. The idea was to set up pipes from ships to land and soldiers can slide through it. For reducing friction and lubrication material, like water can be used to lubricate the tubes. Passengers will receive oxygen supply to avoid suffocation. Pike expected the idea for sea landings to hazardous terrains where conventional transport is difficult. After the war, due to shortage of fuel, Pike proposed a human-driven train engine. His creativity knew no bounds as he continued to explore new horizons. On 21 February 1978, Pike committed suicide at his home. The Times of London praised him as the death of Geoffrey Pike removes one of the most original, if unrecognized, figure at the present century. The crazy inventions of Pike might look odd now, but for the war conditions, this was very important. And if his invention saw the light of the day, then we might have our first aircraft career based on ice. Thanks for listening to today's video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.